Let me show you how to add video to an Adobe Animate project. Follow along in this tutorial and learn how to import a video to a canvas and use code snippet actions to set up custom playback controls. We'll also take a closer look at how to view the project in a web browser. So let's jump right into this video and get started. Here's the document that we'll be importing into Adobe Animate. You can see in my layers panel, everything is contained on one layer. And on the artboard, we have a placeholder image. This will help us resize the video when we place it onto the canvas in Adobe Animate. Great, let's jump over to Animate now. Let's begin by clicking new file to create a new document. From here, let's click on the web tab. And in the width field, let's type in 720. Press your tab key. And in the height field, type in 1280. The frame rate will remain at 30 and the platform type ensure that's set to HTML5 canvas. Once you have these settings, go ahead and click create. Here's the canvas and I'm gonna begin by zooming out a little bit. For this tutorial, we're gonna need four panels. You can see I already have mine open here. Code snippets, components, component parameters, and actions. These can all be found under the window dropdown you could see actions, code snippets, components, and component parameters. As a rule of thumb and best practice, it's good to group all these panels together and set them aside as you're working. Of course, this will help you work more efficiently as well. Next, let's bring in that Illustrator document that I showed you at the beginning of the video. I'm gonna go up to File and Import and then choose Import to Stage. I'm gonna locate the document, the Illustrator document. You can see it's called video-player.ai. Click it and then click open. In the import to stage player window, you can see that the artboard that I'm importing is called artboard one. And here are all the layers. To make it easier to view, just click this icon here, collapse all. And you can see that the layer that I'm importing is video-player. Down below, ensure place objects at original position is selected. And also let's click incompatibility report to resolve any style issues that aren't recognized by animate on import. Just ensure apply recommended import settings is also selected and then click okay. Once you've done that, go ahead and click import. Now here's the video player design that we imported from Illustrator. And here's the placeholder that we'll be removing in just a few moments. As a first step, let's go ahead and bring in the video onto the canvas. For this, we'll use the components window. So go ahead and click components. And these are the components that are available in Animate currently, one of them being video. Go ahead and collapse the video folder, click on video, and then drag the player onto the canvas. I can click the video and position it onto the canvas. Next, I'm gonna add a source to the video because right now it's only a placeholder. So with it still selected, go ahead and click component parameters and where it says source, click the pencil icon and then target the video that we wanna place. Click the folder and then choose podcast.mp4, which is available in the practice files for this tutorial and then click open. Now this is a square video, a one by one aspect ratio video that we're placing here onto the canvas. And to maintain that aspect ratio, it's really important to have this selected, match source dimensions. So go ahead and check that and click okay. I'm going to click the video again and you can see it's much too large for the canvas. So we're gonna position it first. I'm going to drag it and place the upper left hand corner with the upper left hand corner of the placeholder image from the Illustrator document. And I already know that the width and height for this will be 590. So I'm going to change the values in the width and height in the position and size to 590. Press my tab key and you can see that the video is placed in the exact position that I want. To test the video in real time, go up to control and then choose test. That will launch in your web browser and you can see that the video has been placed. You can play it, pause it. Now this video does not have audio, but if it did, you would be able to hear it. 
There's full screen options. Now that the video has been placed on the project, let's focus on how to add the custom playback controls. Before we go any further, I want to disable the playback controls in the video because we're gonna be adding our own custom controls. So click on the video again, and in the component parameters, let's uncheck autoplay, and let's uncheck controls. Next, we'll have to convert both of the play and pause icons into symbols. Let's go ahead and start with play first. Click it and go up to modify and then choose convert to symbol. Let's call this play BTN and ensure that the type is set to button and then click OK. Let's do the same for the pause icon. Click it, go up to modify, convert to symbol and let's call this pause BTN. Again, ensure that it's a button and click OK. Now we're gonna be adding event handlers to both the play and pause icons. And to do this, let's go to our timeline panel and add another layer to our timeline. I'm gonna add the layer by clicking the plus icon. And then I'm going to double click the name of the layer and I'm gonna call this actions. Before we add the event handlers, it's important to also add instance names to both the play icon and the pause icon. So click on the play first, and in the properties panel under object, let's give this an instance name, and it could be the same as the symbol name. So this one will be play btn. Do the same for pause. Click the pause icon, and the instance name is pause btn. Next, let's click on the play icon again, and we're going to go into the code snippets panel next. And in the HTML5 folder, go ahead and collapse that, and then collapse event handlers. Click on mouse click event, and since you have the play icon already selected on the canvas, you can click on this icon in the upper left-hand corner, add to current frame. Go ahead and click that. You can see it adds the code right into the actions panel. That's why it's important to have that open as well. Now there's some comments here and those are optional to remove. I like to remove them for this example, just so you could see the code that's necessary to set up our video player. So I'm going to delete the top comments and I'm going to delete the comments here as well. So you're left with this, this dot play button dot event listener click. This is how your code should look like. Good, I'm going to press return because we're gonna add a pause event handler next. I'm gonna minimize the actions panel and click on the pause icon and repeat the same step. Go to code snippets, click on mouse click event, and then click on add to current frame. And by the way, these are being added to the actions layer. You can notice that in the actions layer, there's a little A above the first frame in the timeline. So if you see that, you're doing this properly. Again, let's remove some of these comments here. Just to clean it up, you can leave these in if you want. I like to remove them because they're not necessary for what we're doing here. So I'm just going to delete them. Next, let's focus on adding the code snippet actions to play and pause the video. So I'm just going to minimize the actions panel and click on the video on the canvas. And much like we did with these buttons, we're gonna have to add an instance name to the video. So I'm going to click on the instance name field and we can call this podcast video. Now that we have an instance name for the video, we can click on code snippets and then choose HTML5 canvas again. And instead of event handlers, we're going to focus our attention on components and then collapse video. Click on play a video. And then much like we did in the first example with the buttons, click on add to current frame. Here's the code that we need. Again, I'm going to remove the unnecessary comments same down here and the same up top here. So basically all we need for this example is the jQuery code. I'm going to select, cut it, and paste it 
underneath the play event handler, command V. Now you can go through that same process and add the pause code snippet, or you could just select the play code snippet. I already have it in my clipboard and I'm going to paste it under the pause event handler and just change play to pause. And we have completed the code that's necessary to play and pause the video. I'm gonna go up to control and test again. I'll refresh it in my web browser and you can see that the video playback controls are not in the video anymore. That's because we added our own to play and pause and play and pause. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to add video content to an Adobe Animate project. If you'd like to learn more about Animate and how to use it to create digital content, check out this playlist right up here. Until next time, take care and keep creating.